I think he's a crucial witness for the prosecution of the case. I mean, he pretty much saw this cr crime f from the get-go. I think he was uh, so shocked that this actually happened, that the comments that her brother was the one to put a hit out on, on Dan Markell was, was probably incredulous. You, think, you don't think really a Dennis family doing that kind of stuff, but the fact that he then was killed in his own driveway and she moves within, um, you know, next day or a couple of days after a funeral. And I, I think he, he finally uh, woke up and, and realized what kind of person he was dealing with and, and Wendy. And uh, so the fact that he left a day earlier was uh, a major blow to be able to throw a detour to prevent prosecution of uh, the Adelsons. And um, because think about it, if he would have left the same time he said he was to Wendy, then even though they would have had him on film stopping at gas stations anywhere from Tallahassee up into Tennessee, the bottom line is he just needed a five, 10 minute window to be able to do the hit. And so that would have not exonerated him. So the defense would have been using him as the main target to say he's the one that did it, not not any of the Adelson. Yeah, this could have really. He was. Uh, if you if you listen to his story about how the relationship was strung along, and he was sort of getting this yo-yo type treatment, um, and then it played up right to the timing of when Dan was killed, and he was abruptly cut off a couple of days prior. All that is this kind of circumstantial evidence to me that makes it absolutely beyond a doubt that that Wendy was uh, was a part of this planning.